For BlueShirtsUnited.com, I'm Jim Cerny, hanging out with Henrik Lundqvist here in the Rangers dressing room a few days into camp. And uh, you look none the worse for wear. You guys are working pretty hard out there. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty tired today. But <laughs> it's a good feeling, though, pushing yourself right now to the limit. You have to. If you want your game to uh, improve and, and, and be where it should be, you, you just have to go really hard here, especially the first couple of days. And then maybe you go a little easier on, on yourself here and then you know, the last couple of days before the first game. You've mentioned many, many times uh, over the past few days, patience needs to be a key because you're not going to have the set preparation that you've always had in the past, and you guys are creatures of habit. So how much of this is more uh, a mental thing than a physical thing once that season gets underway? Well, it, it's hard to say. I mean, like I said, the first couple of days you want to go really hard, but then you really have to manage your practice, even though you feel like your game is not perfect. You can't keep pushing yourself too hard because you have, you know, back-to-backs right, right away, and, and uh, the energy is going to be important. Um, so it's it's a balance there. I think everybody feels like they, they need to go hard right now, but at the same time, you want to prepare for the first two games in a good way. Uh, but so far, it's been all in here in practice, so everybody's pretty tired. But it's good. It's. Uh, you know, I think we're in a place where um, guys start to feel a lot better about their game and, and, and we're working on small details every day here, so it's, it's coming along. You, you talk a lot about consistency, both individually and collectively in the team and, and over the course of a season, how important it is to remain consistent. John Tortorella mentioned the other day that his big concern and the thing he wants to keep this team away from is to have everybody so amped up, so charged to start and then there's a dip afterwards. How important is that to stay away from? And, and how do you avoid that individually and collectively? Well, I think you just personally have to be ready mentally. That It, it is a lot of hockey. I mean, we, we talk about, yeah, it's a shorter season, but it's still 48 games. So you can't expect to go out there and just the adrenaline in itself can't carry you all the way in. You, you have to prepare. Uh, for a lot of games and, and, and just between games also manage your, your sleep and practice and all that like you always do but uh, uh, we'll see I mean obviously being away from the game for a long time everybody's really excited so it's, it's going to be a challenge to try to uh, find a, a, a good um, balance there where you're not too excited and then like you said get a dip but normally you might get a dip after a few months uh, we don't have that now. It's going to be, you know, all in the whole time. So uh, I look forward to it. You mentioned balance. Last year there was a balance that certainly worked in the amount of games that you played and Marty Buran played. What changes, if anything, now that it's such a shorter, compressed season? No, I think we're going to do something similar. Uh, you know, last year I played three, sometimes four games, and then Marty played one. Um, I think it worked out great. Um, kept him in the game. Um, I stayed fresh. I could push myself more in practice and um, I felt pretty good the whole year and, and going into the playoffs as well. I had a lot of energy so uh, we haven't talked about number of games um, but I would, I would guess we would do something similar to last year. Some cool off-ice things taking place for you as well. Tell us uh, playing a little GNR for Jimmy Fallon the other night. And that was a pretty cool guitar, by the way. Yeah. Where'd that thing come from? You know what? I practiced on my guitar at home for two days, and then when I got there, they, uh, they just said, no, 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 Jimmy wants you to play on this guitar, and I brought in that crazy-looking guitar, but uh, it was a sweet guitar, what can I say? And uh, it, it was fun. It was a great experience. It's uh, such a fun show, uh, great people working with the show, so I had a really good time being there. Is there more pressure going on TV playing guitar or stepping out at Game 7 in Madison Square Garden? Well, I like to be well prepared. <laughs> and when I play hockey, I don't leave anything out there. You know, I, I, I do everything in a certain way. So when I come to the game, I, I know what's going to happen for the most part. In that scenario, I didn't feel that way. So I was <laughs> probably a bit more nervous playing the guitar than, than playing in goal, actually. And real quickly, tell us a little bit about uh, hlundquist30.com that uh, kicked off today and yep. some uh, real cool pictures and videos on there, some news and information about Hank. What was the idea behind that? Yeah, I think just another way of staying connected with, with my fans and, and also give them some extra uh, material, you know, some videos and footage and interviews 
uh, on there that you can't find anywhere else. So, and some contests. We're going to have some cool stuff coming up in, in a couple of weeks. And uh, the first contest now is just to, to win a few uh, tickets and, and, and shirts and, and sticks and pucks. But we're going to have some stuff coming up here soon. So, uh, check it out. He's so smooth. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for a few minutes. Thank you.